Okay, the final product is complete. So I will show you guys how it turned out. Hey you guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. I know it has been a couple of weeks since I have uploaded a video for you guys. I actually went to go visit my best friend in Chicago, or not really Chicago, but close to Chicago. Um, she moved there like a year and a half ago, so I went to visit her in October, this past October, and then I also just randomly decided to take a trip to go visit her. And in between coming home and like now, I have just had a crazy busy like couple of weeks. So I haven't really had any time to film and every time that I thought I was going to film, I just ended up being like very present with my family or my friends or whatever I was doing that time. So it is officially summer here if you can't tell by the wardrobe. So I wanted to jump back in with making videos with a little DIY for you guys. I have seen this trend a couple of different places. I've seen it on TikTok, I've seen it on Pinterest, and I wanted to do a textured art piece. And I know this isn't going to apply to everyone, but art is so expensive, especially if you just bought a house and you need to like cover your walls. It can get really expensive, even if you go to like Home Goods or Wayfair, something like that, it just can get crazy expensive. So today I thought I would try a DIY. We'll see how this turns out because I'm not the best at abstract type art. Um, I'm better if I like follow a picture. So I did go on Pinterest and I will post a couple of my inspos here. Um, but I also did go to Michael's and I picked up a couple of different color paints, a couple of paint brushes. I also went to Lowe's and picked out some spackle. I'm not really sure if it's the right one. We're just going to go with it and see how, see how it goes. Um, but I did want to show you what I got, um, just in case you wanted to try this. Lucky for me, I actually had, um, a couple of canvases left over. I decided on this size, it's an 18 by 24. I believe we used to get all of my canvases from Michaels. Also, Michaels usually has coupons, so if you ever are thinking something might be too expensive for Michaels, you can definitely go online. They usually have like a 20% off to 30% off coupon right on their website, so you don't have to belong to anything. You can just pull it right up and they'll scan it for you. Also, I went to Michaels and I got some of these kinds of paint brushes. I'm not sure if they're the right ones, but I got two packs of the little ones and one pack of the bigger ones um, for painting purposes. And this is the drywall that I got. This is the drywall I use for my walls. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but this is the drywall I got. It actually goes on pink and then it dries white. So when you guys see what I plan on doing, you'll see that it actually is pink, but don't worry, it dries white. It's nice because if you have like a wall with a little bit of hole, you can tell when it dries so you can paint over it if you have to fill any patches or something. So I got that at Lowe's and then I also got these, it's just like a three piece. It has like a big one, a medium size and a little one um, for making the design. So we'll see how that goes. As far as paint, I got two of the white. I got the Craft Smart paint. I think each of these little tubes is 79 cents, I think it came out. And then I had a 20% off coupon. So it was dirt cheap, but I figured I didn't want to spend a ton of money on something in case it turned out horrible. So I got two of the white. I got two of this fog gray color. I got two of the coral pink. See, I got two of the powder pink, which is a little bit lighter. I got one of just the pink pink, which might be a little too pink for me. I'm not a big fan of like, I don't know. Now that I'm looking at it at home, it looks a little too pink for me. But I figured I wanted to do this in a two day spurt because it is going to take a while for the drywall to set and dry. So I figured we'll do that tonight and then I will come back for you guys, even though it'll be two seconds for you guys um, and see me painting it tomorrow. So 
figured let's just get started and let's get the canvas prepped. <laughs> Okay, so this is what I just kind of blobbed it on, what it looks like. This side is obviously darker because I did the top first or whatever. Um, and I think I'm just gonna try and like smooth it out and figure out like kind of a design that I want. I don't know if I should have done that while I was doing it. I'm very stressed because I don't think the quick dry was like the right option for this. Um, because this is like dry already. So I'm trying to move quickly. So hopefully it comes out okay, but I figured I will just quickly smooth it out and show you guys what the end result looks like. So I think I'm done. I don't know if you can even tell. I think when it dries and when I paint it, you'll be able to tell. Obviously there are some spots that are like white, but I don't think it should really matter. Um, there are certain spots where I had more of the um, drywall on and obviously it has like a lot more texture. So I might end up trying to redo this one just because I feel like it doesn't really stick out as much but it's also drying faster than this one so it's kind of hard to tell um but I do kind of like that like raised look to it and then I did like a swirl on this side I don't know if you can tell um it's kind of hard to tell I guess you can kind of tell right there that there's like some different raised edges and stuff to it and then I did like a little bit of work around the edges of each one with just the tiny paintbrush that I had. I will show you guys what it looks like tomorrow because it definitely needs to dry before I can even think about painting it. But I will show you guys what it looks like tomorrow. Welcome back to day two of my DIY art project. So the reason my hair looks like this is because that loud thump was sky. Um, I was just sitting out at my mom's house, which is where I am now, and they have a pool, so we were sitting out by the pool while my painting dries, or whatever you want to call it. Um, it's still fairly pink. I don't know if it's going to show up on camera, but you can kind of see it. It has like 
couple of like light pink spots. Um, I think I'm just gonna paint it. It's so I figured I brought my tripod this time, so hopefully I can point the camera down more. I forgot it yesterday. Good YouTuber you are, Emma. Good job. So yeah, I think I'm just going to put the paint. I have like, I know they're blue, but I like paper plates. And then I have these little things that I got from Michaels yesterday. And I'm just gonna use that to paint. I don't want it to be 100% perfect, so I'm not gonna use like an exact paintbrush. I just figured these would be really good to get like in the creases, I guess. So I kind of have a thought planned out in my head, but I'm not really sure. So we're just gonna kind of play by ear and see, see what flows, I guess. <laughs> happy with it and I'm actually really surprised um, it was so easy you guys to just paint and I was just like shocked I couldn't even imagine it but it was fun and it was easy and my OCD didn't kick in which was great because this is definitely an abstract kind of art um, it was super easy though the paint was definitely a one coat um, paint. There was one color that I bought that I didn't really like. It was a little too like bubble gum for me. Um, but I highly recommend doing this if you guys need like a huge piece of art somewhere. It really wasn't that expensive at all. I will put the price down below, um, either on the screen or down below in the description. There's honestly endless options when it comes to this. Um, but I'm really happy the way that it turned out. And if you guys want to try it, definitely put pictures down in the description. If you do give it a try, I would love to see. If you guys wanna see more fun DIY videos from me, let me know in the comments below and I will be sure to make a couple of different videos like this if you guys like. But thank you guys so much for watching. I will be back hopefully to my regular couple times a week, once a week, videos for you guys. I know I've just been a little bit busy, but I'm back. So if you have any different video suggestions, let me know in the comments below. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.